every industry has them. Best PVC piping salesman, Western Division, most improved cosmetics counter of the year award, bus driver with the cleanest bus of the year award. Oh, everyone does it, except most people have the decency to do it in the privacy of a lousy hotel ballroom. Except for us, because we, we work in television. So we stretch the entire thing out over three days and then put the final night on television for the entire world to see or country, or, or at least people who don't have cable. They shot a movie once in my hometown. Everybody was in it for miles around. You did it. I did it. You got it. I got it. The Ronald Sullivan Award for Lifetime Achievement, Alan Roy. I got the Sully. Yes! Oh, great. I got the Sully. Oh. Congratulations. Pardon me? You got the Sully. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I just wanted to say... Congratulations. <laughs> Victor, uh, Lifetime Achievement Awards are stupid. <laughs> awards are stupid. <laughs> this might have been something to me 10 years ago. <laughs> Is there anything else? No. I worked. <laughs> well... Okay, who's up for best variety? Variety's all the same. Uh, Fiddler Fantastic. I hate fiddles. Who likes fiddles? Who are these people? The Butler Family Christmas. What do they do? They play the fiddle. Karen Kane's Final Goodbye. Wasn't that last year? No, that was just goodbye. What's this, a sequel? How many goodbyes has she done? Five. And Barbara Ann Scott. Who's Barbara Ann Scott? Who's Barbara Ann Scott? She's a figure skater. Olympic gold, 1948. Mm -hmm. And my mom still has the doll. Yeah. Alan, six nominations. Good. Now we have to win five of them. Let's get back to work, shall we? But you're getting a scully. Sully. That's so exciting. Look, getting a Lifetime Achievement Award on national television is not my idea of exciting, now please. I don't think you're on the TV night. Pardon me? You're on the industry night. Mm-hmm. With the sound people? Yep. And lighting. Veronica, walk with me. Okay. So who are you voting for? Fiddlers. Why? Piss off Karen Kane. <laughs> I want you to kill my husband. I, I can't kill your husband. Why not? We just established it. Just have him get hit by lightning. No, no, no. Lightning is too expensive. People always say, lightning's not expensive, but the minute you introduce lightning, you're better off just drowning the guy. So just, just tell me what the problem is. Read it. What part? The part that's circled. Okay. Faith enters. That would be you. Walks up to her husband, looks him in the eye, speaks. You're my husband. Whatever you say is right. My job is to stand by you. I love you. What? What? It's Beaver Creek. It's 1894 or something. Right. Right. Why don't we have her say, Honey, I've been thinking. I don't care if I ever have an orgasm. Just as long as you do. That would be 1950. Oh, don't worry about me, dear. You can sleep with other women. Lots of other women. And I'll be faithful, because I'm faith. Stupid, no orgasm, faith. Now you're just being unrealistic. 